All right, so let me just take a moment here and see what's alive with me at at this point. Sometimes I still feel like I'm not doing enough, that I could and should be doing more, and that I'm not being disciplined enough, I'm not being dedicated enough, that the world needs me, and I'm not showing up for the world in the way that I could. And uh, this is an issue that it's not super strong for me right now, but it's it's one of those ones that comes up a lot. It's this feeling like, am I being put to good use? This is Charles Eisenstein's prayer that I love. Like he just, his prayer is always, may I be put to good use? And I wonder, I wonder like, am I being put to good use? Am I putting myself to good use? Am I allowing the universe to move through me in a way that's for the best use of the world. And, um, and so this is something that comes up a lot. And with that comes an appropriate, not appropriate, an associated amount of love that I give myself mm. to try and steer myself towards being of, of good use. Now, we also got to go through a, a beautiful medicine ceremony, which we won't talk about here on the podcast, but it was involves me offering body work which i learned from parangi talk to people about that and uh you know let's just call it a ketamine journey at this point so ketamine journey with some body work and nothing too heavy on the medicine side but it's this beautiful process where i get to do body work with someone in a very open state and i was able to offer that to you um in that point in time beautiful and profound and i'm so grateful yeah it was a real initiation thank you thank Thank you. you Yeah, thank you. In that time, what's interesting is one of the things I love most about it is I know that in that moment, I'm being put to good use. Like, even though it's just me and one person, I know I'm being put to good use. But in regular life, unless I'm like, you know, maybe right now I feel like, oh, I'm doing a podcast. This is me. I'm in the podcast. I'm in a podcast. I'm being put to good use. But the rest of my life, when I'm not like offering body work or doing a podcast, or I just crush some dope poem that I know is going to be a dope video, or I'm on stage speaking, there's these peak moments where I'm like, yep, you did it, buddy. Good fucking job. Like, you're doing it. And I feel this wash of love and peace and acceptance and and joy from, from knowing that I'm being put to good use. And then the rest of a lot of the rest of my life also when i'm making love to vilana i also feel this like right now there's nothing better i could or should be doing so i get lots of reprieves from this but generally much of the time there's this waking anxiety this little grinding anxiety of what about now what about now not enough you're watching this show you could be on your computer and doing something at least something and so it's this kind of grinding thing that's grinding down my joy and dampening and dulling the colors from my life. Mm. So, uh, yeah. So then, let's let's go for it because it's real. Yeah, great. So, let's say that the zero that we want to work towards is you feeling <laughs> feeling just how enough you are. Mm. The zero we're going to work towards is you feeling so satisfied and so in love with who you are exactly right here, right now, that you feel like beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are enough. Mm. Real simple, real simple zero. And that's the zero. How far away from that are you right now? 10 is like, I am in full anxiety, and if I don't conquer, if I don't save the whole world right now, no one's ever going to love me. I think we're in a very good spot for me normally, but I'm like a thick, a thick three, <laughs> like a thick, thick. firm, firm, thick, great girth, <laughs> yeah, girthy, <laughs> girthy, thick three, thick three. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. okay, great. Okay, so again, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Some of them are going to be true some will be false but they're all going to have an emotional charge and what i want you to say after each question is simply see truth when i say that out loud see truth see truth and i invite anybody who's listening to this podcast who shares some of these same concerns or feelings like go ahead 
join well, in. Yeah, pretend, follow pretend along. Pretend this is for you because I promise I'm not that different than you. <laughs> yeah, this this issue of I am enough is pretty universal. Like yeah. almost any human could do this along with you and, and say, see truth in their mind or out loud as they're listening. So again, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Some of them will be true. Some of them will not be true, but they're all going to have an emotional charge. And I want you to say, see truth after each question. <clears throat> Am I enough? See truth. Will I ever be enough? See truth. Haven't I never been enough? See truth. Why would I be enough if I've never been enough? See truth. Who's going to tell me when I'm enough? See truth. Who's going to give me the certificate? See truth. Who's going to tell me when I've done enough? See truth. Don't I really believe that if I could just heal a few more people, then I'll be worthy of love? See truth. Don't I really believe that if I just change a few more paradigms on the planet, then I will be worthy of love? See truth. Aren't I worthy of love right now? See truth. Do I believe that? See truth. Do I believe that I'm worthy of love right fucking now? See truth. What's going to take for me to believe that I'm worthy of love exactly as I am? See truth. Do I really have to save the whole fucking world in order to be worthy of love? See truth. When am I going to love myself? See truth. When am I going to love myself? See truth. When am I going to be able to love myself from the inside? See truth. Why do I have to accomplish so much in order to feel like I'm enough? See truth. Isn't it exhausting? See truth. Don't I love it? See truth. Don't I get off on it? See truth. Isn't this my existential kink? See truth. <laughs> Isn't this the thing I'm secretly so proud of? See truth. <laughs> Don't I love this angst inside of me? See truth. Hasn't this angst gotten me a lot of good stuff? See truth. Hasn't this angst made a lot of really cool things in the world? See truth. Aren't I proud of it? See truth. Don't I not want to get rid of it? See truth. Isn't it a thick three because I love it? <laughs> See truth. Aren't I proud of this piece of me? See truth. What if there's nothing to fix here? See truth. What if there's nothing to solve? See truth. What if this anxiety is divinely inspired? See truth. How do I see the cosmic joke in that? See truth. How do I see that nature made me totally perfect and totally anxious? See truth. <laughs> How do I see them not totally anything? See truth. Aren't I already enough? See truth. Can I enjoy my enoughness and want to save the world? See truth. Would I save the world if I felt like I was enough? See truth. Aren't I afraid I'd be lazy if I believed I was enough? See truth. Wouldn't I judge myself if I thought I was enough? See truth. Isn't it that sacred yearning that's gotten me everything I've gotten in life? See truth. How do I see that the time for that level of yearning is over? See truth. How do I see that what got me here is not going to get me there? See truth. Can I let go of the anxiety? See truth. Can I let go of the self-judgment? See truth. How do I see that if I can run a seven minute mile with a rock in my shoe, I'll still be able to run a seven minute mile if I take the rock out of my shoe? See truth. Isn't the anxiety just the rock in my shoe? See truth. How do I see that my destiny is my destiny? See truth. How do I see that if I'm meant to save the world, I'm going to save the world? See truth. How do I see that whatever I'm meant to change, I'm going to change? See truth. How do I see that the anxiety is totally negotiable? See truth. How do I see that I would actually be more effective on my mission if I stopped judging myself so hard? See truth. How do I see that I could actually have fun while I'm changing the paradigms if I stopped hating myself so much? See truth. <laughs> Where did this voice come from? See truth. Didn't I believe when I was little that I wasn't enough? See truth. Didn't my love get taken away from me? See truth. Wasn't that fucking painful? See truth. Wasn't that terrifying? See truth. Aren't I afraid it's going to get taken away again? See truth. Aren't I afraid that if I don't work my ass off that I don't deserve love? See truth. Aren't I sick of working my ass off? See truth. Don't I love working my ass off? See truth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a little mini pause there. <laughs> Check in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 
So what was that like for you? What what came up? It's the it was a really important reframe of like it's things that it's it's almost like I I was I they're not foreign to me these thoughts. They're not like the first time I ever th- I thought this, but somehow through the process they're landing deeper. Yeah. And they're and I'm processing them in a way, and they're all weaving together in a way that that's making like a an impact greater than the individual thought itself. Yeah. And and I think the idea that this is this is all okay, this is part of part of my design, but I can also get the same thing which I want, but without the without the cost of yeah. the anxiety of it, yeah. and how it is absurdly woven into a lot of conditioning and patterns and other things. That are just ready to ready to drop. Yeah, you want to do one more mini round? Well, I, I don't, yeah, on a scale I'm like of one I'm to... at a, I'm at like a a one, okay. and it's like a one of middle finger flipping myself <laughs> off. Like, fuck you! you I'm not going away. <laughs> so you can fucking suck it. Lick this <laughs> finger and shove it, and enjoy it. <laughs> okay, and what's that defiance? Like, what's what's it protecting? I actually think it's protecting me from realizing that I could have gotten rid of this already mm. and the self-judgment of being like, see, you could, you could have been done with this already. You could have been living a life of more joy and less stress and anxiety yeah. far longer. Okay. Okay. So we're going back in. Aren't I a ding dong? <laughs> see, see truth. truth. Why, why the fuck have I made this so hard? See truth. <laughs> Couldn't it have all been so much easier? See truth. Isn't that not true? See truth. Didn't it have to be hard? See truth. Didn't I need that fire to forge my steel? See truth. Didn't I have to walk through that fire to become the king that I am? See truth. Didn't it have to be hard? See truth. Didn't I sometimes make it harder than I needed to? See truth. <laughs> Can I forgive myself for that? See truth. Can I see that I had to prove myself to myself? See truth. When am I going to realize that I've proven myself to myself? See truth. Haven't I already proven myself to everybody else? See truth. When am I going to prove myself to myself? See truth. Doesn't everyone else already think I'm enough? See truth. Some people think I'm more than enough. See truth. Are people kind of intimidated by my enoughness? (laughs) (laughs) See truth. When am I going to relish and savor my enoughness? See truth. Isn't there a real possibility I could go to my grave and never realize that I'm enough? See truth. Couldn't Emily and I be here at 85 doing the same fucking exercise? (laughs) See truth. Don't I get to choose? See truth. Don't I get to choose every minute of every day? See truth. Won't that be a new muscle? See truth. Isn't it weak right now? See truth. Don't I know how to make weak, weak muscles strong? See truth. How do I build my enough muscle just like I have every other muscle? See truth. Am I enough? See truth. Do I believe that I'm enough? See truth. Aren't I afraid that if I believe I'm enough, I'll stop working? See truth. Don't I know that's not true? See truth. Couldn't there be nothing farther from the truth? See truth. Aren't I going to bring light no matter what? See truth. Aren't I going to bring light even if I eat Doritos and watch reality TV all day? See truth. Wouldn't I still be bringing light? See truth. How do I see that my joy distributes joy into the collective? See truth. How do I see that me stressing while trying to make the world more joyous is not working? See truth. How do I see that me suffering while trying to deliver bliss is contributing to the collective suffering? See truth. When do I let myself have fun? See truth. When do I let myself enjoy it? See truth. How much money is it going to take? See truth. How many women is it going to take? See truth. How many more sales is it going to take? See truth. How many more cars is it going to take? See truth. How many more podcasts? See truth. How many more books? See truth. When will it be enough? See truth. Is it enough? See truth. Will it ever be enough? See truth. Can I enjoy it right fucking now? See truth. Can I enjoy it right fucking now? See truth. Aren't I ready? See truth. Don't I deserve that? See truth. Haven't I earned that? See truth. Didn't I deserve it even before I earned it? See truth. Didn't I deserve it even before I earned it? See truth. Would I look at five-year-old Aubrey and tell him he's not enough? See truth. Would I look at 10-year-old Aubrey and tell him he has to work harder in order to earn love? See truth. Would I look at 15-year-old Aubrey and tell him he's not enough? See truth. Would I look at Aubrey from yesterday and tell him he has to work harder in order to earn love? See truth. Isn't none of that true? 
It's the truth. Wasn't it not even true when my parents felt like they were taking my, their love away? It's the truth. Weren't they loving me to the best of their ability? It's the truth. Weren't they doing the best that they could with the tools that they had? It's the truth. Wasn't I doing the best that I could with the tools that I had? It's the truth. Aren't I doing a great job? It's the truth. When am I going to celebrate myself? It's the truth. When am I going to give myself a certificate? It's the truth. What if I give myself a certificate right now? I am enough. <laughs> See truth. Aubrey Marcus, enough. <laughs> Gold stars. Signed, Emily Fletcher. <laughs> See truth. Aubrey Marcus, you are enough. Signed, God. <laughs> See truth. Don't I get to give that gift to myself? See truth. Want to make everything else more fun? See truth. Want I actually be able to create more because I'll be in the trusting of it? See truth. Want I be able to dream bigger because I will believe in myself? See truth. Want to be more fun? See truth. Aren't I ready for that? See truth. Isn't it go time? See truth. Aren't I ready to have my joy contribute to the collective joy? See truth. Aren't I ready to have the collective joy contribute to my joy? See truth. Is that going to be a blast? See truth. Isn't already a blast? See truth. Isn't it going to be more fun? See truth. Aren't I ready? See truth. Aren't I ready to go? See truth. Yeah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> and just say auto zero. Auto zero. Yeah. Auto zero. Bravo. Nice work. You did the work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was enough. You know what I did right there? I did enough. That's, that's right. What, that's what I did. I, I did know. enough. <laughs>